Just this moment lost in time I am finding me Yet still I hide Behind this mask that I have become My blackened heart Scorched by flames A force I can't run from I look to you Good morning. Did you sleep well? I sure did, given that I didn't hear any screaming obnoxious girls screaming upstairs or maybe next door. I know. Those girls can really piss me off when I'm sleeping. But I, we have math class as our first class. This is going to be a pain to go through. No worries. I'll help you along the way. Oh hey that's the bell. Let's get to class. Our lesson for today is about completing the square. I will show you a few example problems on the board and I will guide you through it. After that, I will give you a class worksheet to do and I want to see if you know how to complete the square. The equation here is x to the second power, plus 4x, plus 3, equals 0. First you want to do is to move the 3 to the right side. You will need to do the inverse and subtract 3. When done correctly, you will get an equation of x to the second power, plus 4x, equals negative 3. Next, you need to take half of 4 and square it. Doing this will give you 4. You must also do this on the right side. It will look something like this. Make sure to add negative 3 and 4. It will give you 1. We then must find a factor that adds to 4 and also multiply to 4. Those two numbers are 2 and 2. And that my friends is how you complete the square. Let's do another problem shall we? Okay I guess this isn't so bad, so far. Ugh, this looks confusing to me. No worries Una, we'll do more practice problems together. But you can obviously ask Mr. Parker for assistance or you can ask me. Oh thanks for the advice Molly. You are truly a good friend. Hello Caillou, how are you doing today? I'm doing good Sally. Caillou, I was wondering, do you have any free time to hang out with me and my three other friends after school? Oh yes I do. That's great. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon later after school. See you then. See you later Sally. Yo, was that your girlfriend? When you came into our school, you've been hanging out with her lately. No, we're just friends. She became my friend on the first day of school. Um, okay. Just wondering. You don't have to run your tensions too high. I'm not. Just please, go away. Hey kid. You seemed annoyed. Is there anything wrong? Oh it was just some blue haired student asking me if Sally Andrews was my girlfriend, which she isn't. Ah. Uh, his name is Gil Kennedy. He's actually a good friend of mine. Trust us. He's not as bad as when he met you. Oh crap that's the bell. Gotta go to my next class. Hey kid. Need some help on your science work? Um, why of course, because I am struggling with chemistry. Alrighty then. I'll help you with the problems and clarify things for you. Oh my god, I can't believe that we actually finished our work before the others did. In fact, we don't need to do this for homework. We sure did. By the way, do you now understand the material that I clarified from you? I sure did. 
Thank you for helping me. But, what is your name? My name is Molly Harrison. It's nice to meet you. What about yours? I am Caillou Anderson. It's nice to meet you too. Wow. You guys are finished already? I only have two sections of my classwork left. Oh, it's you again, Bug. Caillou, that's Gil Kennedy. He's my boyfriend. That's nice. Ms. Brennan, me and Caillou have finished our classwork. Here is our papers, Molly. I saw that you were helping out Caillou with the questions and clarified it for him. I thank you for helping him. I'm sure it means a lot to Caillou, no problem. I always like to help out students who don't understand some of the material that is covered in the lesson we are taught. That is what I like to hear. You may go back to your seat. Okay, I have finished my work. Thanks Gil and good job. You may go back to your seat. Oh, it's you again. And also you, Gil. Hey Caillou, what class are you going? Oh, I have to go to football practice. Oh, you were such a steal when we picked you to be one of the school's football team's wide receiver. Thanks. But, please, let me go to football practice. Yo, are you ready for some football? Hell yes man, let's go and knock some ship hands. That's the spirit. Let's get going. Well, we just have several more football practices left until our first game on September 4th. We better make sure we toughen up for the day. We need to improve our catching, our roots, and our running game. It's been good but we need to improve more so we do well when we play against other schools. You made some great points there Gordon. We saw our performance of ourselves when we did film study yesterday. And look, and why are you not wearing gloves on the contrary to us? If I wear gloves, it will be difficult for me to throw a perfect spiral due to the friction in the gloves. That's why I don't wear gloves when throwing the ball. Okay. Well, it seems that we have to go to our coach. One hour later. Oh boy. I sure ran a lot. My stomach feels kinda sick. The good thing Caillou is that, you played very well as we expected you when our coach recruited you. You sure are our number one receiver. Caillou, I have a spare Gatorade from my locker. You should drink this. Gee. Thank you Trent. I really need this. Drink it up brother. You will feel well after you drink the number one sports drink in the world. If you want to greatly improve the well-being of your body, you should go to a hot tub. It has many great health benefits. Thanks for the advice. I'll try that out. Oh hey guys. Gee. I forgot that you sadly wanted to see me. That's right. I'm glad that you remembered. Not only that, you also wanted me, Nani, and Gordon to meet you after school along with Caillou. But anyways, you want to go somewhere. Where do you want to go? Central Park is a wonderful hangout place. We should go there. Sure. Let's go. Holy shit. This park is so massive. I don't think I have ever seen a park that is this massive before. After all, it is one of the largest parks in this country. This park has its own perks, which we should go check it out. However, any one of us can explore the park on our own, for our own discretion. Yo, those two on the bench look suspicious. Um, hello. Um. What do you want kid? Can't you see that we are just trying to get some fresh air and have our own personal space? I'm just asking if you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend together. Why yes we are. We've been like this since at least 2007. You seem like high schoolers like I am. Do you attend any high school? We are actually dropouts. Are you kidding me? You're actually dropouts? Yes. You heard that right. We simply are so tired of school that we stopped attending school altogether. 
Seriously kid, we want our space. So I'll leave, okay? I would, but that is so strange that you look so fine looking yet you dropped out of school. And yet, I don't think that you do drugs. Ugh. We don't want to talk about your bullshit. Okay. Call you. Dude. Get yourself out of there, and also come with us. Hey bro, I wouldn't be with those two if I were you. How come? All I was doing was having a friendly conversation with the couple. Well, it is not what you might suspect they may appear to be. You have never seen the dark side of those two. I will tell you about the backstory of those two. Please have a seat. So, what's the problem with those two people that I encountered? Well, those two people you saw are Xander Espinoza and Evelyn Wright. Basically, ever since their teen years, these two have been very suspicious people. Their notoriety all started when their parents died when they were in 8th grade. And ever since, those people became more suspicious, they have been freaking people out. And almost all of their people have been staying away from Xander and Evelyn due to their deep concerns of their next action of a potential threat. Wait, have Xander and Evelyn actually do something bad? Not yet. But they have been showing very unnoticeable, unpredictable, and unexpected warning signs to the point that we don't even notice at all. So, we advise you not to get involved with those two, Xander and Evelyn. We don't want you to get into trouble with those two. Duh, okay. Anyways, Corey and Trent, I want to walk around Central Park with my friends, Sally, Luke, Gordon, and Nami. I will see you tomorrow. Alright Caillou, take care. We will see you tomorrow during football practice. <laughs>